Hello and welcome to Upload to Download. My name is Ben and this is Ubuntu 12.04 Beta 2 Long Term Support. I did a video on this uh, four days ago where I ran through my thoughts and opinions on the features of this desktop interface and Unity and all that jazz. And I've got a few good comments on the video, which is here, the Ubuntu 12.04 Exploration. And I've got a few good comments to just clear some of these things up and give suggestions. And it's really quite cool because, you know, we all learn something from it. So, yes. So let's dive into it. The first aspect that I didn't like about the Unity interface in Ubuntu is the fact that out of the box, when you install Ubuntu on you, onto your computer, you've got little customization. If you go into Change Desktop Backgrounds, so this is your appearance settings, uh, you can't change much about it. You can set the theme and you can set the wallpaper, but apart from that, you can't change anything else. So that's that was my first issue with um, Unity, which is this desktop interface in Ubuntu 12.04. There's hardly any customization, and mm, that's actually a nice desktop, but I prefer this one. So one of the comments in on the video has said that you can customize it, download my Unity from the Software Center, and you get tons of extra options. So I'm going to have a look at that now. Now, I didn't say that Ubuntu is not is impossible to customize. I mean, obviously, it's an open source system. It's Linux. So there's going to be some kind of customization. What I mean is, out of the box, uh, you can't customize it like you can Ubuntu 10.10. .10. So it's, it's very closed off out of the box. So let's just install my Unity. We'll have a look at this. Now, of course, so out of the box, if you don't have internet connection, you won't be able to have the customization that my Unity offers. Of course, if you don't have internet, you probably wouldn't be watching this unless you purchased the YouTube disk collection. Well done if you did. Great purchase. <laughs> have a look at Look it up. Look up YouTube Disk Collection in YouTube if you don't understand what I'm talking about there. Some of you probably just chuckled to yourself and thought, what an idiot. Anyway, so let's see. It's installing. It's doing some jazzy stuff in this sidebar at the moment. And it, the other comment that I received was talking here about uh, the Mate desktop environment. And this is because... I was questioning why Ubuntu and other Linux distros have pushed to move their user interface into a kind of uh, into a tablet styled feel, tablet styled layout. And I don't understand, still don't, didn't, still don't understand why they're doing that. So let's see what's going on here. My Unity. Hmm. Seems to be a slight issue with the icon showing up, but maybe I just need to restart, but I won't bother with that. So let's have a look at what my Unity has. Your Ubuntu is running in 2D mode. Yes, yeah, that's because I'm running it in a virtual machine. Many features may not be available. That's okay. So let's see what we've got here. So I'm exploring this with you. I've never seen this before. I've never used it before. I'm just using this on recommendation of the awesome commenters. So let's see. Color. I dare say that's not available to me. Hmm. Dashboard. Ah, okay, so the grayed out options I can't use. So obviously, uh, this is Unity 2D. So if, if I was to install it on my computer properly, I'd be able to have, have access to U Unity 3D, which is a s slightly different layout, and that gives me all them. Okay. So, dash size, full screen. Oh, okay. Yes, that, that's handy. So not normally it just comes up as a little box, and I want to keep it full screen all the time, so I could have it as full screen. And that's just glitched up my interface. Fantastic. Panel. Uh, that's also not available. Desktop show home icon. Ah, okay, yep. So that, that's, this definitely adds a lot of functionality to it. That's great. I mean, oh, it seems like a lot has been cut out, though, just because I'm running in a 2D Ubuntu setting. I also could change the icons. Yeah, so this, 
This really brings back a lot of the functionality that Ubuntu 10.10 .10 had in terms of customization, which is really good. So I can even... Yeah, there's way more themes too. Uh-oh, has it frozen on me? Oh no, there we go, just change the theme. See, that's nice. Cool, I can change... I mean, obviously the theme isn't that nice, but what I mean is that's nice that I can actually relive the gr glory days. I notice that this top bar completely vanishes when I pick a theme other than the default uh, Unity theme, so... Thin ice, that's it. One I used to li like is clear looks, and that seems to have... Hmm. Yeah, so that definitely adds some more functionality. I mean, it, it seems seems like it's uh, probably missing a little bit in terms of still being up to standard with Ubuntu 10.10's functionality in customization. But again, I am running this in uh, a virtual machine, so a lot of these options here, they're, they're disabled. But yes, that, that's definitely something you should check out if you've got Ubuntu installed on your system fully. Uh, yeah, I'd check that out. Let's see, change back to my normal theme. Default. Oh no! There we go. And icons. See, why is DMZ black and DMZ white there? Aren't they? They're cursors. They're not icons, I didn't think. Oh, <laughs> that's interesting. Cool bananas. Unity icon theme. Ah. Does that mean Unity has its own theme in here? No. So it's got Unity icons, but not Unity theme. Oh well. So that's pretty handy. Thank you to... Where's his name here? Rune393 for suggesting that. That's pretty cool. So that definitely adds more customization to the Unity desktop, so... That's great. Anything that adds customization to this definitely helps. So let's have a look at the other... My other issue was to do with the GNOME interface. And this guy here, Snowyman95, has said... Is, I'll sum, summarize it down and make him sound like he's saying something completely different. But he's basically said that the reason all Linux distros are going in this kind of uh, tablet-style interface frenzy is because their main uh, desktop interface, which is GNOME, has changed in version 3 to have this kind of interface. It, so it's GNOME, not really the people developing Linux, but more the people... Uh, in charge of the desktop interface, which basically all of them run on. And I think I recall somewhere in uh, a Linux news, or Linux news, I don't know how you guys say Linux, Linux, potato, potato. Say, say in the comments how you say Linux or Linux. I've got no idea. Yes, but um, I think I recall hearing in the news, Linux news, Linux news a while ago, um, that the reason Ubuntu was ditching... Uh, GNOME in Ubuntu 11.04 is because they didn't like the way that GNOME 3 was heading. And, yeah, I, I guess I can see where they're coming from. I mean, it, just looking at this, it looks exactly like the one in Fedora. Because Fedora, Fedora is running GNOME 3 and it doesn't look like they've customised it a lot from the default. So, it's apparently Ubuntu wanted a more customizable interface and that's why they picked Unity which really is a bad choice in terms of picking a customizable desktop interface but you know maybe they installed my Unity hmm. no but yeah so I'll just look here because in the comment he also said if you're interested you can install the Mate desktop in environment, which is a fork of GNOME 2. So the same uh, GNOME desktop that uh, Ubuntu 10.10 .10 had, Ubuntu, which I liked before they went and added Unity, um, there's a group of people that are actually keeping GNOME 2 alive in their own little version, thanks to the glory of the open source world. So... I'll have a look here. This is the Mate desktop website, and so I can install it here. Now, it says to add a repository, but that's only if I want to get updates for it. 
And I don't think I'll need any updates because I am going to be... I'm only going to be running it in this desktop environment here, virtual environment, that is. So I don't think... That, there's not going to be any real reason for me to install the repositories as well because I won't be getting updates for this. So I, I'll... I wonder how big it is. Hopefully it's not too massive, but we'll check that out. So sudo apt-get up... Oh, yeah, I don't have to do that first part. I might just try this last line and see how that works. This is install-based packages. This, this installs more packages. Okay. So I'll try the core first. Shouldn't have to get anything else, really. I mean, I mean, there's... All, all these Linux, Linux gurus are probably going... You know, because... Whoops, Studio. Studio. That's a cool name, actually. So I'm probably getting um, put down by Linux gurus at the moment because I shouldn't really be missing out all these other steps. But you know, sue me. Ooh dear. What did I type wrong? Sudo apt get install make call. Yeah, that's right. Oh, okay. Yes, I do have to install the repository. Sorry. Yeah, I'm forgetting that the sudo apt get lists installs from a repository, so I can't actually just do that. I'm just going to open this link up in inside the virtual window thing. Oh, there's no snaps aside. Uh, you really get used to that in Windows 7, and what is it? There's another one that does it. Oh, yeah, KDE. That's right. Kubuntu has snap to side features as well, and you know, I really, I've really gotten used to that snap, window snapping. I want Mac to implement it, but you know, they're stuck up and they're stuck with their uh, mission control crap. <coughs> I'm just gonna lose a lot of fans by saying that. So here we go. So we've got to add it. So I'm using pre precise pangolin this out. I might even speed the video up, so... In fact, no, I won't speed it up. I'll have a link below that will skip you to after I've installed it. How's that? So for those, those that do want to sit here and listen to me gargle away as I add a repository and install GNOME, stay tuned. You can stay by and watch. Packages. I think I've just... Screwed, yes, I screwed that up. Great. I'm clearly demonstrating my typing skills here. What is going on there, actually? No, it's not me. It's my keyboard or something. When I do the speech marks, it comes up as an A symbol. Oh, dear. My keyboard's m messed up. I have to go shift and press the 2 key for the speech marks to appear. Whoops. Must have wrongly configured it. Oh, well, at least if I have some spelling mistakes or typos, I can blame it on my set, my keyboard setup. Yes, yeah, the H appeared because I entered the slash. It's not me. It's not my typing. Okay, precise main. I'm going to find out if I got this wrong. Ah, that's easy. Just double check it. Mate desktop org. Problem is, I mean, with YouTube videos, you often... I really shouldn't type and talk at the same time. It really slows me down. But the problem with most YouTube videos, you'll be watching someone doing something like this, and they'll make a mistake, and you, the viewer, and even me afterwards when I'm re-watching it, will go, What? You idiot! You've done something wrong! And I've done something wrong here. What have I done? Dab? No, it tells me to write Deb. Hmm. What you saying, Willis? Okay, I wonder if I... Since I've added the repository, I might just try and add the thing in my bob. Pseudo apt get. Update. Up, up page. Well, I'm, I was about to say, I'm not installing the updates. What a waste of time that'd be. It, I mean, if this... If I had this installed on, on the computer, I'd do the updates, no problem. But inside the virtual box, it seems a bit pointless. Okay, and sudo apt... Mate archive keyring. 
Yes. Ba 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 ba. Okay. So that's done. Are you done? No. Now it's done. Okay. Sudo apt get install mate core. 298 megabytes? I wonder if I can just get away with installing the environment. Let's see. Three hundred. Okay, so this is going to obviously take a while, and I'll pause the video here, and I'll come back after it's downloaded and installed. See you in a sec. Okay, welcome back. So I've just installed the Mate desktop interface. I didn't install the core. Because I assume the core just comes with all the programs that default uh, come with GNOME 2. So, let's log in. Now, there's an option actually here to actually choose which desktop you load up. And I've noticed here there's Ubuntu 2D, which is the one I think I, it's defaulting me to. So I might try Ubuntu in a sec and see if that My Unity thing works with all the functions. Probably won't, but I'll have a look at the end of the episode just to make sure. So I'm going to log in as as mate, mate. Let's see what this. Let's see what happens. It might not even work because I didn't install all of the stuff. I'm currently eating noodles, hence my salivating sounding voice. Okay, so there we go. Yeah, it def. That's definitely gnome too. Wow. Yeah, so that's cool. I like that. And here's all my great customization that I came to know and love. And it's got ambedience. Yay! Fantastic. We're a Snowman95, you, sir, are a genius. That's cool. So now, now I can have it like I used to have it and still get all the critical security updates and, and even got some new interfaces. That's neat. Some new wallpapers. So that, yes, yeah, so that's the GNOME, th the one that I saw on the GNOME 3 page. Doesn't have my Ubuntu 1104 wallpapers, so, but I'm sure I could find them in the, the system folders. But I'm sure I could find them in the system folders. Also some new themes, I haven't seen these before. Let's see, Squid. Hmm. So that's really cool. I'd like to thank... <laughs> Now I'm, now I'm clicking up here, but that's not where you go in in here. So thank you, Snowman. Yeah, I'm getting that right. Snowman95. Mate, desktop interface. Fantastic. That's exactly what I want, exactly what I need. So go check it out if you like if you like the look of Ubuntu but you don't want the stupid Unity. Go have a look. So yes, yeah, special thanks to Snowman95. Rune393 and Franerg. Thanks for watching. Upload the download. I'll see you next time.